Here comes our father. Give me a J. E. S. U. S. Was the name? Was that name? Your Excellency. And here comes our mommy. Can I hear you say, welcome, Daddy and Mommy? Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the closing ceremony of Impact 2022. We all rise for the Nigerian National Anthem. The Deeper Life Youth Anthem, Arise, O Youth of God. Last verse. Say big amen. A big amen. Your Excellencies, please be seated. Very distinguished VIPs of this generation 
I'm calling on you, distinguished VIPs of this generation, as conferred by the convener of impacts, let me at this closing ceremony inform you that we have with us the convener of impacts, our father, the professor of professors, the man who has poured out his heart to us all in these past days. Please welcome Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. And with him is our mommy, Mommy Esther Kumuyi. We're also pleased to have with us very distinguished Mrs. Ibukun Awoshika. We also have, please be seated, Your Excellencies. We also have with us here, and we're glad, the Vice Chancellor. Niger Delta University. Listen to this. He is not just the vice chancellor, he is the chairman committee of vice chancellors. Listen to this. He told me personally that he became a vice chancellor, a professor, and all he became because of Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Professor Samuel Gumon Ediomekomo is here with us. We're also glad to have here with us today very distinguished and senior pastors of the Deeper Life Bible Church, including our very distinguished leaders of the youth arm, the campus arm, and the Young Professionals Arm. We're also glad to have our very senior pastors. They are dotted on each sides of the room and our senior mommies in the church. And we have online very eminent personalities. We have national overseers of the Deeper Life Bible Church. They are fathers. We have state overseers of the Deeper Life Bible Church. They are fathers. And we have a lot of great personalities watching this closing ceremony online right now. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm also pleased to let you know that we have in this hall and on this ground with us gentlemen of the vibrant Nigerian media and international media, the gentlemen of the press. I want to recognize them. Thank you for being here. Your Excellency is very distinguished, ladies and gentlemen. It's been six great days. We've had I. We've had M. We've had, give it to me. We've had. We've had. And today we will have. You know, our father told us in the morning that he won't tell us. And I also don't know. There must be a calculation nobody has heard. But until then, let me bring up Pastor Dr. Elias, local organizing committee go chair, who is also our youth leader nationally here in Lagos. Please welcome him with a round of applause. Pastor Dr. Elias. The general superintendent the Park Christian Life Ministry, Pastor Dr. W. E. Kumui, PSC Church, our mommy in deeper life, mommy Esther Kumui, our distinguished guest speaker, Mrs. Blessing Ibukun Awoshika, who is a, uh, was a former chairman, First Bank PLC, and presently the CEO, Shokoa Chair Center Limited. You are welcome, man. Our church leaders and fathers in the faith, the very VIPs of this generation, all our teenagers from the secondary schools, campus students and staff, core members, young professionals and young adults, gentlemen of the press, and everyone here this evening. 
Today marks the fifth and final day of the Global Youth Convocation, tagged in part 2022. Before we get started, we would like to first express our profound gratitude to the Almighty God, who has graciously blessed these participants with his mighty presence and visitation by salvation, restoration, miracles, signs, and wonders. Our gratitude also goes to our Father in the faith, our Father in the Lord, the general pretender of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry, for betting impact as a vehicle to impart youths who in turn will impart their world. We are also blessed with the presence, prayers, and care of our mommy in deeper life, already uh, introduced to us. Impact would not have been a success without the support, prayers, partnership, and contributions of our church fathers, pastors, and leaders, our invited guest speakers from Nigeria and globally, as well as the guest music artists. This gathering this evening will focus on the highlights of the gains of the five-day global youth convocation and set an agenda for both the church, the government, the NGOs, and development partners. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time so that we can go into the main issues of this evening. And therefore, walk me welcome every one of you to this event. Please relax and enjoy the moment. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to also inform you that seated here on the podium is a senior advocate of Nigeria, one of the sons of Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Please welcome Pastor Taiwo Kupolati. Thank you for being here, sir. We'll now have the keynote address to be given by the Chairman Committee of Vice Chancellors of Nigerian Universities. Please welcome Professor Samuel Gowan Ediomokumo. Thank you very much. Already I've been given a time frame of just seven minutes. And by the grace of God, I will touch the key areas. And before then, let me honor a very respected defender of the faith, the holiness preacher, my father, my mentor. And some of you will not know that uh, at Bagada, in 1985, precisely on the 9th of September, that was a Bible study. And that some of us, under his ministration, gave our life to Jesus Christ. And so, Daddy, thank you very much. Mommy, thank you very much as well. And our guest speaker here, and uh, other respected pastors of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry, those online and those present here with us, are very wonderful VIP youths. You can do better than this. Praise the Lord. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. At this day, it's remarkable in the history of Nigeria. Remarkable in the sense that youths are gathered and to be given words, training that will impact the society. And some of us followed keenly from Wednesday till this hour. And we have seen that all that that has been given to you, especially from our father, you need no other thing anymore to excel in life. As at August 2021, by the world statistics, we're told 
that from the age of 1 to 15, just 26%. And then from the age of 65 and above, we have just 9%. In other words, in between, the youths are having the larger percentage of the world population. And if you want to have the youths from 1 to 15, we are having about 91% of the world population that is controlled by youths and young adults. And that's why this impact program is very, very important. If we get them right, the world will change for good. If we follow the precepts of our daddy in the Lord, the world will get it right. And that's why, daddy, I want to please plead that this program should be like what we do in C on a yearly basis. Because if we do this and we allow them to go home and we don't do it consistently, we will not create that impact that uh, we will have. Today, some of us are vice chancellors. We never thought. When we were in the university, we look at them at very high, far. Daddy, you will understand. You were once a teacher, once a university lecturer. But today, not only just being a, le a, a, a lecturer, not just being a professor, a vice chancellor, and not even being a vice chancellor, now, the chairman of committee of vice chancellors of Nigerian universities, including the Angkor University I was talking about. And that's because for me, I have taken daddy as my mentor. He may not know. From 1985 till this moment, in fact, in 2015, when I was presenting my inaugural lecture, I decided to derive my topic from the Bible by my calling in the academia. I'm a professor of economics, but I decided to, to derive my calling and my topic from the scripture. And I said, my topic was God, man, and the world, the Nigerian tripodic exchange geological dilemma. That was my topic. And then professors were asking, where is the economics in this? I said, come and see. And that day, I believe some repented. Some repented. Praise the Lord. And I know many of you here will rise to the peak. Amen. I said you will rise to the peak. Amen. But yesterday, Daddy gave. In fact, when he was giving the steps that you will take to enable you rising to the peak was clear. And this morning service, and our moderator, who was leading the prayer session, gave us the three C's. He said, connecting to heaven. He said, consecration. And then, continuity. That lies, the, every success you will think of in life. The most important thing, as a youth, is for you to be focused. You need to be connected to God. And once you are connected to God, God will guide your steps. That's very important. And so for me, when I became the vice chancellor of Niger Delta University, even at the acting capacity, I have to enthrone Christ on campus. Compulsorily. Until this moment, from 
22nd of May 2017, when I started acting, till this moment, every working day, there must be devotion in all the campuses. You must impart the world. That is what we are here for. Anywhere you are, you must tell them that you are the head and not the tail. That you are both only and not beneath. Amongst your peers, you must have that influential power. And that's what a pastor told us from the first letter I, from impact. You must have that. And so if you have that, you will not allow any peer influence to derail you. You must be focused, be determined. Look at what you want to achieve on earth. Even from that age, at class four, I decided that I want to be an economist in the secondary school. But we had disagreement with my father who wanted me to be a lawyer like our son. But I told him, I want to be an economist. That I want to contribute to the development of the economy. And today, with that, I have risen to the peak of the field. But that was a decision I took while I was in class four. Now, GSS, I mean SS1. That was a decision I took. And I pursued it. If you don't have any focus, you will not be able to achieve your goal because you are purposeless. And so, at every point in time, once you connect to God, and you have identified what you want to achieve. Consecrate yourself. Devote yourself. Be focused. And never allow anybody to distract you. And then the next thing you will do, you will continue. You will continue. You, you will abide. And then at the end, you will achieve your aim. But you can't achieve your aim without integrity. Have that at heart. Along the way, you will face difficulties. Along the way, trials will come. But you must have that integrity. No matter the difficulties, one with Christ is majority. You have that. One with Christ is majority. All those difficulties are just for a few time a period. And I know with what a pastor has given you and other speakers have given you, you will make it and it will impact society in Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Very distinguished VIPs of this generation. The closing ceremony will be interrupted by three, you know, interruption is one of those big words. It will be interrupted by three goodwill messages. And they will be in 60 seconds each, just to say hello to you. Welcome, Pastor Taiwo Kukwalati, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Daddy, thank you so much, Mommy. We are grateful for the great work God is using you for. And the great VIPs, I salute you. I am very trustful that God has brought you here in order to fix you to himself. And I want you to stay on course. Abide by all that you have heard. You know, there is no nation that can be a good nation without a good constitution. So what you are being told here is by the way, a constitution that will guide your soul, both of success, good success, and prosperity. And I believe that God Almighty will help you. The counsel of God can never fail. God will promote you and set you on the top of the mountain. 
we have heard this morning that the ego will throw down the infant, not because he wants the small ego to cry, but because he wants the ego to fly. And you are going to fly in Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Next to speak, she's just going to speak very briefly because we'll be having a very powerful speech from her in a few moments from now. Plus, please welcome for Goodwill Message, Pastor Mrs. Ibukun Awoshika. Well, I have 60 seconds for this, so all I'm going to say to you is this. What you make of your life is your choice. Every opportunity will be given to you. Sometimes the world will not give you what you need, but if you know what you want, then you will learn to fight for what you need to be who you want to be. So life will not readily hand over things to you. Everything you will want for who you want to be is probably already in somebody else's hands. But as long as you know who you are in Christ, and you understand the power that you have, and you know that indeed you will know the truth, and the truth of God that you know will set you free. And they that know their God, the Bible says they shall be what? They shall be strong, and they will do exploits. The exploits that you do is based on the extent to which you have invested in understanding God, his power, his grace, and his word. And in his word is every tool you need to war. And to war for greatness. Because not a single one of you was sent to the earth to be a piece of decoration. You were sent to make your life count, to impact other lives, and to change every space that you will occupy. God is a total picture. Consider this screen as God's total agenda. Consider that screen cut into every tiny piece. One piece of it is you. Whenever you're missing, there's a hole in the picture. Which means the purpose of God cannot be accomplished without you accomplishing your own purpose. So you owe it to God and to yourself to make sure that everything that you should be, that you invest in being, and that you use everything that is made available to you in order to achieve that. We'll talk later. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, everybody say, Mommy. Mommy. You will have the privilege of hearing a goodwill message from our mommy, Mommy Esther Kumuyi. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. VIPs, I want to hear you. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. God bless you all. I thank the Lord very much for the privilege of being a mother to you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, when God made everything that he made, what did he say? He said they were all good. You are all good. God did not create a failure. And none of you will be a failure. All that you have learned during this Impact 2022, take them to heart. Go over your notes again. You will be what God has purposed you to be. Nothing will hinder you. You will make it. Just as we are very proud of all these who by the grace of God gave their lives to Christ, and God backed them up. And they came to the top of their profession. 
we will hear about you. Yeah. I say we will hear about you. Yeah. You are the future. That's not just a cliche. You are the future. Yeah. And the Lord will help you. Yeah. You will stand out. Yeah. And God will be glorified in your name. Yeah. In, in, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. There is more to come. Prepare yourself to receive. God bless you. Say big amen. And now, I want to reveal a secret to you. There are daddies, there are big daddies, but there is only one biggest daddy. The convener of impacts. Our biggest daddy, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. You're welcome, Daddy. Praise the Lord. My own VIP. Praise the Lord. You know, we started, you can see them. God bless you. We started five days ago, and we gathered here as we commenced this historic event, Impact 2022. As the convener, the fundamental principles that will catalyze the molding of transformative, heavenly-minded, and goal-oriented youth is at the heart of organizing this epic event. Already I've spoken to you on different things. I want to tell you a story. You might be able to identify with this story. Actually, a farmer, this is a true story, went to the farm. An eagle had dropped an egg, just one, on the farm. And the farmer became curious. And he took that egg. He had some hens at home. And those eggs had laid eggs. And so he put that eagle egg in the midst of the uh, other eggs. And the hen brooded over, it, over them. As the chicks came out, the little, little chicks, chicken, they came out, and that eaglet, a little eaglet, came out. But the eaglet did not know her mother because the father took that egg of the eaglet from the farm, isolated and put it in the midst of all those eggs. True story. And eventually, as those chicks began to grow and were picking things on the ground, that eaglet, that's all he knew to do, pick things on the ground. And they would fly a little above the ground. He too would fly a little above the ground. And was just like that with them, like all the others. You know, there are people, the Lord had put that eaglet, a kind of talent inside you. But because of your environment, because of your community, you just go with them, with the park, and with the, with the crowd. All of a sudden, one day, the eagle up on the sky, in the sky looked down and saw all those cheeks like that. Just They couldn't go beyond the ground level. And then saw that, that's not one of them. That does not belong on the ground, belongs to the sky. And then called on that eaglet. The eaglet looked up, did not recognize 
that's mother eagle then went down again but the mother eagle will not give up god will not give up on you yeah. when he made you he made you special really and he put something in you that cannot be done in the world except you do it and it's been calling from the sky you looked up you didn't recognize then that mother eagle came back again and looked down and called on that little eaglet all of a sudden you know the power to fly was in that eagle but she didn't know and the power to look up not looking down like the little little cheeks all that was in her but she didn't know and the power to aim for the heights and to aim for the sky all that was there that eaglet did not know but all of a sudden there was connection somebody shout connection, connection. that eaglet recognized that's where I belong. The day you recognize that this is where you belong, that day you begin to climb up. Yeah. And then all the qualities that you didn't know were there, all the abilities you didn't know were there, all of a sudden, everything will come to light. Yeah. And that eaglet tried the wings were heavy. They had not been used for a long time. But tried again. And the inner power overcame the outer constraint. And then she got up. It's like all the cheeks on ground. Goodbye. I didn't belong there before. I'll never be down there anymore in my life. And up and up she went. And the mother eagle up there saying, keep on coming, keep on coming. This is your territory. And this is your domain. And eventually go to the sky and join all the other eagles. I'm telling you that somebody might have put you like that egg among the people. They never do well. The people that are just marking time, the people that do not have any special goal in life, but impact has come. Yeah. Impact has awakened you. Yeah. Impact has told you, come up higher. Higher you will go in Jesus' name. Yeah. As Pastor Mrs. Ibokun Awoshika said, the people that do know their God will be strong. I see strong people there. Yeah. I see strong people there. Yeah. You know, I'm much older than you are, but you see me standing, I'm strong. Yeah. You see me walking, I am strong. And you know, the mark of old, old age, those who are going down, and they are saying bye-bye, the mark, you find it in the brain. The brain goes down, cannot read, cannot learn, cannot think, cannot do anything. When the brain is gone, everything is gone. My brain is still in touch. Your brain will not go on on you when there's still something to do. And I pray for you. The vision of an eagle. Amen. The path of an eagle. Amen. And the passion. The passion of an eagle. Amen. And everything that makes the eagle to fly. You will be an eagle of a professional. Amen. Your life, anywhere you are now, eagle, Amen. go on climbing, Amen. go on flying. Amen. Our youth choir told us in the morning, I won't cry, I will fly. I won't cry, 
I always fly. But days of crying, we have all cried as babies. That one is over now. Amen. It's time for you to fly. Amen. And I'm still flying. I still have vision. I still have goal. I still have project. I still have a lot of things. If myself, that our MC called, not just daddy, not just big daddy, biggest daddy. If I'm still flying, come on, come on, follow after me, follow after me, follow after me. Come on, catch up with me and then go beyond. Then I will see you up there. I will say, I hand it over to you. It is your time. God bless you. This is your time. And now, please be seated, Your Excellencies. And now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to close the uh, closing ceremony, which of course culminates in the final event this evening, I want to very quickly welcome Professor Samuel Oyediran for vote of thanks. I'm told that a vote of thanks has been put together. The drone has picked the message, and we'll be dropping the message. This is Impact 2022. Here it comes. All protocols observed. You have set us as eagles to fly. Daddy, mommy, we are ready and we are flying. The beauty of technology, as, as it were, a message from your children. I open this cruel of gratitude. Hallelujah! A great event like this, of this dimension, of this degree, you will all agree with me, cannot take place without the support, the backing, the finance of a global team, very motivated, dedicated committee members, and organizing committee. The attitude of gratitude is the attitude that gives us the altitude. We are grateful to God for giving us a father whose vision, whose leadership, whose direction, whose support has brought us this far. And what are we going to do? We are going to do, just say thank you. And on your behalf, rising up on your feet and in the characteristics and manner of the way he feeds us. Three points. Representing God. Amen. Stand up on your feet. So when I say we want to thank our Father, you join me to say a tumultuous three way. Thank you to the father of fathers, to the mentor of mentors, to the leader excel par excellence. Want to go, what do we say to our daddy? Thank you, Number two. Thank you, and lastly, Thank you, we are very grateful. Don't sit down. Are you tired? Let me amplify it for you. Daddy, we love you. Now, 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 now. 
Now, now, when you want to collect money at home and uh, you know that it's going to be whatever and so on, where do you run to? So we want to run to mommy now and appreciate mommy. Now, they will permit also we are youth. Am I right? Yes. And when we want to celebrate our own thing, we say Bosa. But you are not going to say Bosa. Is that okay? You are going to still say three thank you to our mommy. So I leave and to our mommy, the mommy of mommy, mommy Esther Kumuyi, who had come at such a time like this. We all say, number one, thank you, mommy. Number two, thank you, mommy. And number three, God will lend me your life in the name of Jesus. We are very grateful. Thank you for supporting our dad. Amen. I like you. Now, from the scroll you have sent, can I read it to them? To eminent dignitaries, who time will fail me? to mention their name one by one, who honored our invitation at very short notice, even at great inconvenience as a sign of their love for the youth. There is going to be a tumultuous word, thank you. Can I hear you say that? Thank you. We have fathers also in the house, mothers in the house, pastors in the house, those that are present here, who walk behind the scene, laboring tirelessly at the national level, international level, and at the alpha location level, we want to say a big thank you all. And for all those who have tirelessly, selflessly, sacrificially contribute to the success of hosting of the first ever Global Youth Convocation Call Impact 2020, we say what? Thank you. And to the youth of the whole world, all over the globe, who have taken part in this very great first ever, great, live, global, impacting impact, we say what? And the final thank you to our God in heaven. Everybody say, Father, we thank you. God bless you all. We are very grateful. We now all rise as we take the Deeper Life Youth Anthem to lead us and prepare us for the final event this evening. Arise, O youth of God. After the introduction, the convener and his guests will be allowed to take their leave to prepare and return for the final event. As a one only.
Amen.